Yes, actually. Well, as you said, the Kenyan authorities say that they have killed the four main perpetrators of this crime. Um, they, you know, across that campus, you can see, uh, you know, even from the outside, um, telltale signs of the battle that went on, tank tracks going through the, the fence and into the campus. And the Kenyan military really did respond quite quickly to, to this attack. But yes, the, you know, the, one of the things is that they want to try and find out who is the ringleader of this uh, of this crime. Now, obviously, that's going to take some time. The, the uh, campus itself has been locked down as the investigation continues, and the uh, ambulance and the security services begin to deal with, you know, as you said, the aftermath, with covering the bodies and trying to, you know, identify them for the families. Ashley. Uh, Christian, if I can just ask you, look, it was only just 2013, two years ago that we lived through the horrors of the attack at the Westgate Mall in Nairobi, Kenya. Weren't there enormous lessons to be learned about response to a terror attack? So many more people died than needed to die in that attack. And now we're seeing on the heels of that, an attack that took out almost 150 people. Yes, and you know that that is one of the uh, things that's going to emerge from these investigations. Um, you know what exactly happened, and the, and the details actually are still very murky. It does appear that this time the Kenyan security forces did respond quickly, but also unlike last time, this time there was no siege. They immediately went in to try and take out this threat. Unlike in Westgate, where there was a lot of security and some time, many days before this was this was sources in sort of 15 hours. Um, and the security forces went in. The problem, actually, is, is dealing with threats like this. You know, the, the town I'm standing in now, where this university is, is a four-hour drive from the long, porous border of Somalia, the stronghold of al-Shabaab terrorists. And, and they can, you know, they can sort of go, come and go as they want. And how the Kenyan forces actually begin to try and preempt those attacks is, is the real challenge. You know, obviously, getting here on the ground, they did that within, you know, a couple of hours. But it's it, actually, that's just still too late, you know. Uh, what they need to try and do is preempt it, and that actually is the real challenge.